going guys? Here to us here today we got Matt Groot. Matt, what you got here for me? Uh, we have Poker Nights. Um, went two and one today and uh, the deck is very, very, very fun uh, with the new King Court supports. Uh, starting off triple uh, Imperial Bower. Uh, baits out the Ash and gets you right into your result to go off into your Link Climbs. Um, pretty much you want to see this in your opening hand. Uh, if not, if it gets ashed, you still have the ability to go off with your Joker straight and make your plays. Uh -huh. uh, three copies of Queen's Knight and three copies of King's Knight. The reason why you're maximizing three is because if you hard drive both of them, you can still go into the Knight's combo and still in, get into your result to go off with the, the same stuff. Uh, Jack's Knight at two. Uh, you don't want to see him in your hand and you just want to use him to uh, get back into your deck uh, as fast as possible. Okay. Uh, Joker's Knight, uh, your first extender uh, to get into the rest of your link climb. Um, very good, you just basically send any of the knights out to special summon them. Uh, level five, you can get into your Constellar Pleiades with him uh, for just another uh, good body on the board. Uh, Spice in the deck, triple Galaxy Soldier. Uh, can still use him to go into your Constellar Pleiades. Can use him to dodge Nibiru by summoning out uh, Infinity first, and then going off onto your Warrior Climb uh, straight, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Um, hand trap package, uh, side frames, um, self-explanatory. One of the better hand traps in the format right now. Uh, little um, Phantom Knights package. Uh, during the link climb, you're able to get out your uh, rusty bardiche, and by the end, you can set two fog blades uh, at the back of the board uh, to, they get, to negate Apollosa, which again, really, really good. Uh, code uh, zero day for your uh, extender um, one Fire Flint Lady and one Infernoble Knight. Uh, again, just to continue to be able to uh, search out your extender to go off into that link climb. Uh, very, very important in the deck just to have that extra piece of uh, continuation. Uh, and the spells, Joker straight um, at the end of your main combo, summon out this card, gets you three more additional bodies on the, on the board for your link climbs. You can also go into a rank four with it. Uh, your end phase, uh, you can send one of your knights back to your deck and re-add this back to your hand to go do the exact same thing. Uh, oh, next sweet. turn, yeah. Uh, one reinforcement of the army to search out your Imperial Bower or any of your fire extenders that you might need. Um, two Pot of Prosperity. This again, just to fix your hands, uh, you can um, use or you can use some of the cards in the extra deck, uh, which I'll show you to uh, uh, make sure that none of your combos go uh, uninterrupted and you can still go through the whole thing. Uh, one Double or Nothing for a rank four Utopia double play. Um, one Magnum Shield. Uh, Buddy actually teched this card for me because I don't have the Infernoble um, uh, equipped Durendo. card yet, Durendil right now. Uh, so I cited this uh, as an extra target in case I hard draw the fossil uh, on a warrior monster. Uh, even if it's just a vanilla, he gains the attack equal to defense. And if he's in defense, gains def uh, defense equal to his attack. Okay. So it basically puts like your Queen's Knight at a nice 31 and it That's turns crazy. it turns it to, into something that it needs to, uh, that your opponent needs to deal with. Two copies of Living Fossil. Uh, it's good to see this as your extender to get your monster back from your graveyard to go into your link plays. Or if you don't see it, Again, your Infernoble uh, combo uh, gets you that. Uh, call by the Grave to make sure, again, your plays can still go off. Uh, one Monster Reborn. Again, you're another extender. Uh, one uh, Shade and two Fog Blades. Um, pretty much if you uh, draw into any one of these, uh, you can use this one as your main extender. Um, you can end with both of these on, or it doesn't even matter. Even if you have hard draw one of them, the Fog Blade is definitely uh, something to be looking out for. <laughs> yeah, perfect. That's it for the... Anything you would change going forward for your main deck? I know you need the Durendils. Yeah, except for the Durendils, um, right now I'm honestly pretty happy with it. There's really yeah, it seems nothing... solid, dude. Yeah, there's... Uh... When we played, you opened the nuts. It, um, the only thing that you can do to make the main combo a little bit more um, uh, consistent is two rescue rabbits. Uh, oh, okay. that, that will do the same thing as a bower to get out your two knights. The only thing is you're summoning out your vanillas, yeah. uh, your queens, uh, to go off into the Isolde. Uh, that way, you know, you only have one more of the, the queens in the deck. So to 
keep reusing them for your uh, your Joker straight play. Uh, you, you really want those in your deck yeah, more, not actually out on out onto the board. Oh, okay. So your uh, the extra deck uh, on a Zold. Uh, Zold will search out your extender for your or sorry your. Uh, uh, <laughs> card for your next turn and also get you out your um, Infernoble Knight. Um, Draco, uh, really good, just standalone card on the field uh, if you got a problematic monster. Uh, pretty much you can target effect monsters equal to the amount of non-effect monsters in your graveyard and destroy them if you don't control any other effect monsters. So him just on on the field has the ability to get off quite a few if you have like say the Queen and the Jacks both in. it's. Two free clears. Yeah, that's sweet. Um, Codebreaker Virus, um, Sword, and Berserker. Again, to go up to your climbs to get out your Codebreaker and then use that uh, additional material for your Rusty Bardiche, uh, which will gain your access to your Fog Blades. Uh, another side link to a side frame. Uh, if you have your Gamma in your hand, uh, you can easily uh, link off your Bardiche and your uh, co extra Codebreaker lingering on the field for this if you have your Gamma in your hand to be able to use your Gamma uh, on your opponent's turn. Uh, Apollosa, uh, very nice to have her at two negates at the end of the combo with two Fog Blades like I said. Um, she's key. Uh, we go one Utopia and the Utopia double swing in for uh, damage. Constellar Pleiades uh, for, you know, uh, bouncing one Cyber Dragon Nova and one Cyber Dragon Infinity. I uh, open up the Galaxy Soldier uh, combo. You can easily use this to dodge around Nibiru before you go off into your Zold and then your Joker straight. Um, one Baguska, uh, again, just a nice little Floodgate rank four. The one uh, Zeus. Uh, it's nice to be able to go into, you know, Infinity or Pleiades, yeah, wow. tacking and be like, oh, I made Zeus. And the, and the one uh, sign frame Omega to round off the extra deck for the uh, side frame package. Here. Yeah, so there's, there's Poker Knights in a nutshell, man. Perfect. Thank you so much for the profile, dude. Like, comment, subscribe, share for more. Hit that notification bell. You see more videos pop up. We here at Dark Fox and Hamilton on Upper James. You know what it is, guys. We're next to a dog cafe. It's fantastic. Come check it out for any Digimon, Pokemon. Yu-Gi-Oh, we all out here, we got Mize. Let's get it. Hero gang, best gang in the world. You know what it is, boys.